In today's reflection, we continue at verse 13 in chapter 4 from Paul's first letter to the church in Thessalonica. There was an expectation by his followers in the years following Jesus' death and resurrection that his second coming at the end of time would be imminent. Since Paul's visit to Thessalonica to found the church there, some members have died and their families are concerned that they will be overlooked at Jesus' second coming. In these verses, Paul is reassuring the community that those who have already died before Jesus' second coming are safe in his keeping, will be raised to new life first and be joined by those who are still alive when the Lord comes. Paul writes, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we can safely entrust to you those we love who have gone ahead of us, knowing that because of your death and resurrection, we have the promise of eternal life together. And now let's say together the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.